Belgium. What is it? Made in Belgium. Oh. Yeah. Looks like they had lids though. Yeah. Is that a lid right there? Are you cheating that cold? <laughs> I'm cold. That is a lid right there, but there's only one. You want this hoodie? No. Sure. A dollar? Maybe I'll take one of those. For a buck? Yeah. What about that one back here? Nah. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Oh, that's it. That's where that goes. I was wondering, <laughs> I was looking for that. Well, I just picked up another one in a box over there, so I thought, mm, I wonder if that's the lid for that one. Thank you. Uh huh. It's a dollar on these tables. Okay. You're looking for them things? Um. Well, we just we just picked that one up in a box over there. So okay. Uh, yeah. I think we'll get both of those, but we're still looking. Okay. Keep looking. Can we hold them for you or no? Um. Sure. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Jar full of macaroni? No, thank you. What? That looks <laughs> Is that a. I see. Yeah, I think they're. Pokey. They're not. The hummingbird thing will come around with the And I want the bird. So with the music playing in the background there on the radio, I figured I would just do a little voiceover through here so that I don't get flagged for a copyright issue. Um, there's just a pile of some Christmas stuff here. There wasn't really anything there that really caught my eye, so I didn't pick anything up. But check out that table. Isn't that cool? They did have some cute stuff, but um, a lot of their stuff did have chips in it, including this bunny. And I didn't even notice that this bunny was chipped when I picked him up, but he's still super cute, I thought. Yeah, you know, I've known a lot of them for a long time. They just didn't think they're friends. Oh, no, they don't have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> See, they got a little really? no, Oh, yeah. my God, that noise just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it's like touching you, the light. Did you think it was going to shock you? <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think I have what I have on there. Uh, oh, I'm not even sure. 35? 35, yeah. I do 20. Yeah, they're... Look at this. Is this a bank? Piggy bank? Looks like it. Yeah, they used to give those away to the kids back in the day. Yeah. You open up an account, you get one of those. I had 12 on that. Do you know if it works? Uh, you can play with it a little bit. Maybe it's there, but I'm not sure. I wonder if I got a penny or something I can play there. I got that quarter. <laughs> it's meant to be. Was it? Yep. <clears throat> I don't think it does. It does. I'll take it. Okay. Wow, it's okay. 
Fifteen? I was surprised at how heavy it was. Yeah. Is Oh, that's cute. Take five bucks for the Mickey and five bucks for the top. Is it, is it decent? It doesn't say what it is. Yeah, I don't like, I couldn't figure it out. Right there. 76, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Five bucks. Um, yeah, can I get that, a shot of that in here? Yeah. Oh, no, there's no price on it. What is this thing? Some kind of fire starter of some sort. I don't know. That's what I was told. Huh. What's your name? Yeah, different. I got 15 bucks on it. It's a bank. It's a piggy bank. Oh. Hmm? Or whatever. Ooh, what they do? That one's Mohawk rubber, sir. That. Look at the old Nitrate. darts. Mm Mm hmm It's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yep. Pinocchio.
squishies. All right, so the Hartmouth Flea Market, I think, was a success for us. We did pretty good there. We found some interesting things. And the first thing that we found that I'm going to show you is this Uncle Sam mechanical bank. And it actually counts the money for you. And I've tested this out. But what I haven't tested actually so far is once you get to $10, this part here will open up so you can get your money back out but you have to put in ten dollars to get it back out but um this i paid ten dollars for and it's listed for 25 or it was listed for 25 it has already sold so it probably could have gone for more had it had all of its stickers on it there should have been an Uncle Sam sticker right here, and across the top it would have said nickels, dimes, and quarters, because that's all you can put in here. But um, it's still pretty cool, and it sold for $25. The next thing we found was this little Mickey Mouse, and we weren't really sure what exactly this was but it would have had a pull string on the back and he would have talked. This is a 1976 Walt Disney seven inch talking Mickey. It is a chatter chum and he would have talked. But I paid $5 for him and he's listed for 10. The next thing I found was another toy, <laughs> this little top. And this is Ohio Art, and I paid $5 for it, and it's listed for $15. I also found this cute little set of four Home Co. Ducks. I'll pick them up two at a time to show you. But they are cute. I didn't notice when I bought them. One of them has a broken foot, I think. Yes has a crack there on its foot but they're still really cute and they're not listed yet but when I get around to it I paid five dollars for them and they will be listed for 18 and I also found this gorgeous um, vanity tray and it has a rose here sorry I'm trying not to get the light in there to blind you it's got roses here for the handles and there's some light scratching on here where it has been used you would set like your perfume bottles and makeup stuff on here or whatever you want I've been using it as a display in the middle of my table so I paid a dollar for that and it is actually listed for 65. I also came across this beautiful Fenton Jack in the Pulpit vase and it has the white um, ribbon around there. This is super heavy and it has a polished bottom. There are some flaws, it looks like, on the bottom from manufacturing. They look like little bubbles there that have been actually polished too, but they are there. And I paid $10 for this and it's listed for $40. Also off of the same um, dealer there, I got this beautiful black glass basket with the clear glass applied handle. It's very pretty. And 
This was also $10 and it's listed for $30. And I think the last thing, nope, not the last thing. I have this little bunny. <laughs> it was only a dollar and it has kind of, Danny says it's scary. Bailey says it's scary too, but I think it's cute. And it has an iridescence to it. And, but I didn't notice when I got it, it does have a, his foot it has been repaired but that's all in the listing also and quite honestly I don't really care if it sells because I really like it myself so I only paid a dollar for it and it's listed for 13 and the next things here I found these Belgian uh, milk glass uh, apothecary jars and this one doesn't have the rubber seal on the lid to seal it tight, um, but it is still really cool. Like you could put a label on that little spot right there and then it has the carriage. Just a cute little like French scene. Um, this was a dollar. And it's listed for sorry it's listed for 17 I also found this one and it does have the seal and this is also made in Belgium but um, this was a dollar also and it is listed for 25. So our total spend there was $49. And with everything listed, it's it comes to $258, leaving us with a profit of $209. So I thought that we got a nice little variety of things and it was fun going there and um, the vendors were very kind and they really wanted to make some sales. It was a little chilly that morning and the wind was blowing pretty good so they were they were cold out there selling. It did warm up later in the day but we were there in the morning so they were ready to make some sales. and. Uh, we got some good stuff. So let me know down in the comments. What was your favorite thing in this haul video today? Um, with you commenting in down below then that helps my channel grow and I also really like to interact with you guys and get to chat with you and I always respond to comments. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what's your favorite thing in this haul. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!